Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode I'm going to show you several items I got in the mail. So let's have a look after the intro. So as I have gotten the CR10, I have a reason to buy upgrades for it and plant out to replace the fans on it. So the fans for the power supply uh, and the, the control box and the hot end, there are several types of fan. Um, this one is an Octofan AFX20, it's a 40 by 40 millimeter fan that is 20 millimeters deep and this one goes in the back of the control unit for the CR10. Then I have a Silent 5 fan from Gelti Solutions. This one is 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters and goes in the middle of the control box and is used to circulate air inside the control box. And then this fan is a 60 millimeter fan from the same manufacturer, Gilden Solution. And this one is intended to go into the power supply itself. And I have something to say about the power supply. This is a 120mm fan and this surely does not fit into the printer. But what I have bought this fan for is because my power supply on my week year old CR10 died. I got an issue with a heat bed connector at the controller side. The connector that goes from the heat bed and plugs into the control box is rated for 5 amps but the heat bed is drawing 17 amps and um, what happened the connector burned down after just a few days of use and um, the power supply died in the process so I had to get a new power supply and um, I was trying to source locally a power supply that would go inside the control box but I couldn't find any such thing here in Iceland today and I have to order it and what I did was I had an ATX power supply, just a normal PC power supply that I had laying around but the fan for that one was very old and, and noisy so I got an Octua fan sourced also locally to replace the power supply fan and I have installed that and this is the case for it, it is a NFS12A FLX 120mm fan it's just a normal PC case fan. Then I got three more Noctua fans. Those are 40 by 40 millimeters and 10 millimeters thick. This I'm gonna use uh, for the hot end cooling fan. Um, those two are gonna be part cooling fan. Um, I have printed out a fan type part cooling hot end fan brackets and I'm going to try this out and also I found a solution where there are two fans on each side so I decided to get two part cooling fans just in case if this is not working right for me and I want to get the extra fan but one is for the hot end and two is for part cooling so those are more Nactua fans and the last packets this is from Bond This one came straight from Bontec in, in Sweden and this is the Bontec extruder for the CR10. So I will do an installation video on this one but this is the genuine Bontec extruder with a bracket for the filament sensor. So this is going to be installed on the CR10. The included extruder was Give me trouble right out of the box. It was uh, loose and the gear was loose and I don't trust it. So I want to get a proper extruder for the printer. So those were the items I received in the mail today or bought here locally. I also got myself a used ATX power supply and I installed that on the printer. The included power supply just went dead after the burnt heat bed connection and I'm gonna show you that in a separate video where I 
show you the upgrades of the fan. I'm going to talk about this at that time also. But this will be my episode on what I got in the mail today. And I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.